Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in the lecture series of Material Studio, we are at the lecture number 35. And in today's lecture, I'm going to explain one of the most important part of the uh, DFT-based uh, material analysis, uh, which is the study of electron density and electrostatic potential. Uh, this analysis help us understand how electrons are distributed in a material and how uh, the charge environment um, change when we add different doping so uh, as this work is based uh, on my own uh, simulation uh, using uh, density function theory with the mole 3 code uh, and material studio i have studied how doping nickel and tungsten into a ti2 effects uh, it, uh, its uh, internal electronic structure so uh, in this lecture uh, i will first explain the theoretical results of the analysis uh, in simple words after that, I will guide you step by step on how to set up uh, these calculations and Material Studio uh, and Demol 3 code of Material Studio to perform this analysis for yourself. So let's begin. Uh, is uh, uh, I already um, conduct this study. So uh, uh, first, let's understand uh, uh, two basic concepts: electron density and electrostatic potential. Uh, electron uh, density tell us where the uh, electron are located uh, inside the uh, material higher density mean more electron in, the, in that region this help us understand how uh, atom are bounded and how electrons move inside uh, the material and uh, um, uh, electrostatic potential uh, shows uh, which area are more uh, positive and which are more negative uh, it help us understand how electric field are uh, distributed within the structure and how electron and hole uh, may behave so uh, it's uh, uh, it also show how atom attract or repel each other based on uh, charges now uh, let's begin uh, with uh, pure uh, tiu2 uh, without uh, any doping is uh, uh, on the screen you see uh, the pure tiu2 structures along with the uh, Mm, so uh, this represents the electrostatic potential map along with the uh, isosurfaces. So uh, uh, in uh, the TiU2 structure, the oxygen atoms attract more electron because they are more electronegative uh, uh, than titanium. This means electron density is highest around uh, oxygen atoms. Uh, the bond the bond between titanium and oxygen is ionic in nature meaning electron are transferred from, uh, from titanium to oxygen so when we look uh, uh, at the um, electrostatic potential map of pure tiu2 we find a negative region uh, near uh, the oxygen you see we have uh, a negative region uh, uh, on the oxygen side and uh, 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 we found positive region around titanium atom so this show that the structure is balanced and symmetric which is good for semiconducting behavior now uh, let's say uh, for, um, we add uh, two doping uh, nickel and uh, uh, tantalum you see on the screen we have a structure of uh, nickel and tantalum dope Okay, so let's first discuss what happens uh, when uh, nickel is introduced. A uh, nickel uh, is, since we know nickel has a two plus oxidation state, which is uh, lower than titanium um, plus four. Because of this, uh, Ni does not attract electron as strongly uh, as Ti. Uh, as a result, the uh, NiO bond become more covalent, meaning electrons are uh, shared more equally rather than uh, fully transferred. And the electrostatic map, uh, uh, if you see on the screen. Um, this uh, appear uh, is a less positive potential around the um, nickel around the nickel uh, atom so this show that uh, ni is uh, acting like an electron donor and create a softer charge region now uh, uh, let's uh, go towards the tungsten tungsten usually has a higher oxidation state uh, than ti and it pulls electron more strongly uh, from surrounding um, from surrounding atom uh, in the electrostatic map uh, we see a strong positive potential near the tungsten atom which mean uh, um, tungsten behave as an electron acceptor uh, this create uh, internal electric field within the structure which is very helpful in separating electrons and hole um, also uh, a, a useful feature in uh, photocatalysis uh, solar cell and uh, other energy application so uh, 
yeah uh, for example if uh, somebody want to uh, exceed the study uh, in more detail uh, so i'm preferring to uh, harsh field analysis to do harsh, harsh field analysis so then uh, you will uh, get to know uh, more detail about this uh, now uh, that uh, that we have understand uh, the result and the physical meaning behind them so now let's move uh, to the uh, practical part of uh, um, this video so firstly i will uh, delete delete the uh, already construction uh, map uh, what we have to do how to start this calculation in the mol3 module so for example uh, i want to start for this structure uh, what we have to do is to uh, open the uh, demo 3 code uh, firstly uh, since we know firstly we have to optimize uh, the structure so for this and task section uh, select geometric optimization uh, it's up to you if you want to check with medium or fine quality as i am interested in, uh, in fine quality so i select fine and from here you should select gga with pb function so uh, for wonder wall correction some people select uh, DFT uh, D correction, but uh, in my case, uh, I did not select this, and uh, uh, yeah, also I select uh, symmetry option, is it a uh, beast, and click on more. From here, uh, change the uh, iteration, for example, from 50 to 100 or 200. Uh, for some structure, uh, did not converge in less iteration, so. Uh, we uh, exceed the number of iteration but uh, for TIO2 uh, um, 50 is enough okay uh, an electronic section uh, the basis set uh, should be uh, DNP and uh, code treatment should be all electron leave all the uh, step uh, and is a fine quality and the basis file should be 3.5 as I already said this orbital cutoff uh, also uh, set to fine quality and uh, uh, the most important thing is that select the smearing okay uh, now uh, moving ahead towards the properties no need to select anything from here and uh, on the job section let's say I want to apply the six core and up to uh, like uh, uh, 5000 MB and then start the uh, calculation okay so uh, uh, I assume uh, that uh, the geometry optimization is already uh, done and uh, we got a geometrically optimized structure now uh, uh, what we have uh, to do is to uh, yeah once the optimization is completed and then we will perform a single point energy calculation to obtain electron density and electrostatic potential so for example uh, i assume that uh, uh, this yeah okay so for example i assume that this uh, uh, is a structure uh, optimized structure and now uh, i uh, want to do uh, the calculation for electrostatic potential and electron density so uh, Yes, okay. So from task section, I select energy as all the calculation parameter are set up. So I will just uh, discuss these and quality. Uh, I select fine quality. It's up to you if you want to uh, select medium or other qualities. And uh, function should be GGA and PBA is as uh, is, is uh, optimal solution. And uh, because of uh, adding uh, nickel and uh, tungsten so uh, you know when we uh, do calculation with uh, without spin uh, polarization we are assuming uh, that uh, the number of spin up and spin down electron is same but uh, uh, since in our case uh, the structure is not uh, pure so uh, we add uh, some uh, doping so um, the number of uh, electron uh, should be um, in, in, in fractional um, so the problem is that uh, k-step or dmol3 did not do cal perform calculation for uh, the um, odd number of electrons so for what we have to do is to we, we will select spin uh, unrestricted calculation and also I select smearing 
okay next step is to going towards the uh, electronic and uh, as i told you uh, you have to select the electron code and uh, i also uh, you will select the uh, dnp dnp is uh, uh, basically a uh, double numeric plus polarization and uh, also set the basis file uh, like 3.5 it should be 3.5 Okay, now I move ahead toward the properties and in the properties select electron density also select both of these total density deformation density and uh, also select the electrostatic electrostatic potential on the job section I applied uh, uh, at out of 8 cores and I applied uh, 600 MB I means 6 GB so uh, with this I run the calculation and I got uh, these results for this structure this is the output file I got all the uh, results okay uh, let's uh, uh, draw the electrostatic potential map electron density map so uh, how you will analyze this for this you have to open uh, your calculation your calculated structure and then click on analysis and uh, from here uh, you select the uh, electron density uh, you will also check this book wave isosurfaces and then click on yes is the i already have. so this is the uh, electron density let's rotate the structure In the upcoming video, I will uh, uh, export uh, these uh, results and I will uh, show you how to draw this in, uh, in origin. Okay, so this is the electron density and how to uh, analyze the electrostatic potential that uh, which size, which uh, side is more electronegative and which side is more electropositive. So click on view iso surfaces on input and you click on yes so it's okay uh, yeah uh, let's set the iso surface so for this click on display style and from here you will find the iso surfaces so first the electron density you see this is the electron density uh, for the nickel and tungsten dot Okay, if you want to reduce the uh, transparency, you will do like this. And uh, uh, now let's check for electrostatic potential. So this is the uh, electrostatic potential. about the uh, color map let's so it should be rainbow or reverse rainbow we have a lot of options as uh, you set rainbow color and show legend uh, the size for that uh, like I am setting small font size time and 24 color is okay Okay, let's uh, for better visualization. Let's uh, apply the uh, transparency. Okay. So then we will not get. So uh, this is uh, as I will discuss this and the start of uh, of this uh, lecture. I uh, don't want to uh, discuss this again. So this is how you will. Uh, calculate uh, the electron density and uh, the uh, electrostatic potential so uh, this information is extremely helpful to understand how doping change the uh, internal electric in, 
electronic environment of material and it uh, support your DFT results with, with visual and numerical data uh, and uh, inshallah in my next video I will uh, show you how to plot these results using origin and how to export data for graphical presentation in your uh, research paper so uh, with this thank you very much uh, if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friend and colleagues uh, thank you so much uh, for watching take care